Yeah, sure. Of course, in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay. So, uh... So how do we summon this ghost? I don't believe we need to summon her. I believe we simply need to find her, or she will find us, one of the two, which may indeed not be a good thing for us. Uh, Why? If, because she has been imprisoned here for many centuries. And as imprisoned here. imprisoned here, this is where she is tied, according to those in Isle who have been able to divine this research. Why is she imprisoned here? Just wanting to know? When it is believed very heavily, I believe not only in Isle, but in your world as well, that when someone dies, if they have unfinished business, they can be tied to a place for centuries until their business is done or they are called home. Shall we go then? Okay, so your movement, of course, is based on your dexterity. Um, and and you sh your, your, your move should be listed on your character sheets. Okay, let me open up Cret here. Uh, yeah, his dexterity is 11. And then under his derived values, his move is 11. Now his run is a 33. Okay, your run is typically three times, unless you're you're wounded or or otherwise impained, if you will. So impaired, uh, impaired, impained, both work. <laughs> um, so, um, for convenience, Cret, uh, oh, you shouldn't have any shock anymore. So the shock should have gone away. Okay. So, Did Cret, you just it? yeah, I just took care of it. All right, thank you. So, uh, Cret walks up beside Lady Arana and looks up at her and says, I will be happy. To, uh, oh, and says, What do you say, Jamie? <laughs> now, I want to keep, I want to keep Cret next to Lady Arana to make it easier for me to deal with. Okay. Okay. Um, I, what I say is, I'd be happy to help you. And whatever whatever you need. She she looks down and says, I will be happy to have your companionship. And uh and she begins to move into the castle. Three, five, six, seven. Uh you see uh, uh, where where are you guys going? I, I do want you to move. Oh, uh, I, I'm staying with her. You're gonna you're gonna stick with her. Okay, go ahead and and move, peaches. Uh, Robert, have you returned yet? I have. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, I had to I had to answer deal with a phone call. Okay. So um you I okay here's what happened with you, um when the doors were opened by Mo and the gang, uh, uh the outside doors they disappeared. There was a heat wave that kind of passed over you, and you temporarily lost your ability to fly. You landed on the ground pretty hard, uh, hard enough to take you uh, to your side, but it was not enough to cause you any damage. Um, uh, and you were able to pick yourself up pretty much immediately. You're young enough, and you have pulp power, so you've, you've got a little bit of, of hardiness to you. Um, oh, I've known this guy before. <laughs> eh. Um. Anyway, uh, Elrana explained why all of you were here, and that was to find the ghost of Skathic. Uh, so that she may be able to lift the curse from the Gaia Bolga so that Elrana can get rid of it. Right. Okay. Um, so. Who, who, can you tell me who was seeing the real thing, me or them? They were. Uh, actually, oh, okay. m more appropriately. Peaches and Cret were because Chris rolled a third one in a row. <laughs> uh, Chris poked himself in the eye with his own thumb when he tried to look at it. There, there you I go. I tripped and fell. Uh, 
yeah, he he almost knocked himself out on one of those uh, cold forged rivets. Uh. <laughs> how, how how I I I realize I just put myself at five meters up, and I have no idea how high the ceiling is. I, there is no come? ceiling. Okay, cool. So, so the the ceiling that you saw oh. before. And the high towers, the sixty-foot one at the uh, at the northeast, and the the forty-five or the, I'm sorry, the twenty-five-foot diameter one at the southeast. Uh, those aren't there anymore. Okay. Okay, you're seeing all kinds of ruins in here. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So how do you guys really, you know, really want to do this? How do you want to explore? I want you guys to move first. But don't forget, your maximum move is your walk, unless you decide to run somewhere, and then it's three times your walk. Just keeping up with uh, the night lady. Okay. Well, same. Because I'm right beside her. Okay. So... Oh, um Mm-hmm. How okay. high how how high are the walls that we're walking past? Um they're roughly about let's see, they were the 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 house that you're walking in right now, the, the flat keep that you're walking in right now, uh I said it was twenty feet high. That's about four meters, three four twelve no, it's uh tired than that. Uh, 15, 16, 17, okay. So about six meters, uh, the walls, the walls have jagged tops. So they're, they're six meters, uh, in most places, but they are broken down as far as two meters in other places. So you can tell okay. which, which are the walls and which are columns and stuff like that. Um, right. but everything in I here... I, I was just asking because I was I was hoping my perspective might give me like a little bit better sight, but it, from what you're telling me, it probably wouldn't. So, so. Uh, right. a, ask me ask me a more specific question. If if you're seeing anything in particular or anything like that, think on that for a moment while I take care of Mo. Um, so, uh, Mo, you go down there towards that room. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need you. To roll a straight. Wait a minute. Do you have willpower? Yes. Okay. I need you to roll a willpower test. Uh, As versus a target just, number of minute. ten. Hmm. Bio break. Oh, okay. Um, Mo, that yeah kind of sucked. So, do you want to put anything towards that? Um, no. I'm I'm going to not, uh, recommend that you don't put anything towards that right now. Okay. Uh, I I don't plan on it. Okay. What did you roll? He he rolled a uh, an action total of a nine. Um. Uh, my dice roll was a four. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Okay. So, Even with a four, I was only one point away from success. Well, yeah, basically, uh, or at least a kind of success. Um, Did you have any bonuses? No, his bonus was a minus six because he rolled a die roll of four. He's got a skill value of 15. 15 minus six equals nine. So, Mo, mm -hmm. you take two points of shock. And it's because you feel something like human fingers, long human fingers pass through part of your back. Mm-hmm. It's enough to put your tail on end. That's just even that's just even creepy whenever you describe it. Holy <laughs> smokes. Huh. Okay, so all of you saw that Mo kind of went off in his own direction. Um if if all of you are sticking with Elrana, that's fine. But uh, you you see Mo actually react kind of badly uh, for a moment. And and what was that noise you made again, Mo? Yeah, yeah, I went, I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got ghost sign. <laughs> Were you slimed? I turn around and say. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, do any of you kind of look in that direction and see if you can see anything? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and um, uh, make a fine test. The actual target number is going to be a 12 on this one. Where, where Mo. is Mo real quick? Hey, Mo. Yeah. I, I realize this isn't your culture, so I, I, I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you a hint. First rule of the dungeon crawl don't separate the party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As for GM convenience, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did only you get into a D &D game. <laughs> I, I can't see anything but Mo's back. Yeah, and his tail is sticking almost straight out. Um, if he had fur, it'd be bristled. Yes. Yep. Yes, exactly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and move everyone, uh, in the direction that, uh, Elrana wants to go. She notices that Mo went that way as well. So she wants to kind of go past this, uh, pass, past this entry area. Come on. I'll make a find. Who? Uh, Who? me. Oh, okay. I'll look. Okay. So you kind of look over, what, at Mo? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Oh, I need to roll it, because I... you're not here. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, actually, don't start with me. I'll beat you. I'll beat you about the head and shoulders. Hey, can't do it when I'm at work, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'll find a way. Yeah, the dice, buddy. Okay, so oh. you had a die roll of four or a die total of four, oh. which gives you an action total of five. Um, let me open your hand. You have Step B, Second Wind, Inspire, and Backup Plan. None of those are going to help you. You have four possibilities. If you want to spend a possibility, I'm going to recommend that you don't necessarily need to spend a possibility on this, but you can if you really want to try and perceive what's going on. Let her rip the data chip. Let's do it. Okay. So that's going down to three. Oh. Pfft. Okay. Let's get on the right keyboard, Paul. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and throw a possibility at that. So here we go. Ooh, 20. Oh. 24. So your die total came out to be 28. Uh, your action total of 20. Okay. You see a figure... Uh, hang on, let me try and do a measurement thing. You see a figure in, oh, you, you're not on the board. It's, uh, well, you can point it out to others. You see a figure, um, that's still over by Mo, uh, but her, and you can barely see past the wall that, uh, that, that Mo, and that you guys have gone behind since Mo decided to go to the right. Um, uh, but you can kind of describe, well, you, frankly, you can describe a ghost, okay? Even if, well, no, ghosts are pretty prevalent in Isle, so uh, you could describe oh, a ghost pretty yeah. easily to to uh, the okay. rest of the group. But none of the rest of you can see it unless you want to try and perceive it. Okay. That's kind that of what I thought. Huh? Is that another uh, a test? I, uh, I failed my find. Yeah. No, you're fine. Um. So, but after a uh, moment, yeah. Cret, after a moment, the the form that you see kind of disappears. But before it disappears, its head snaps in your direction, and you see. The visage of a woman. Uh, I am not going. Hmm. What? In my mind, I'm thinking, what the heck? What the heck did I just see? Well, I mean, honestly, as as a, a denizen of Isle, you've seen ghosts before. Okay, they're not quite as prevalent as they would be in, say, Rorsch, but they they can be pretty prevalent. But then the okay. face just kind of disappears. Okay. Okay. So, uh, 
What about the rest of you? Okay. I, I'm I'm looking at Mo going, what is it, Mo? Uh yeah, it, it just that that cold like icky like something like you know just, yeah <laughs> yeah it it was a it was definitely ghost in the building all right yeah, so. <laughs> okay uh, you think if it's the one that's supposed to be doing all this she'd be really grateful for a chance to be done with whatever it is she's got to do uh. Um, she? Mo, when you when you say that, when you finish saying that before uh, dogfight can say who is she, um, uh, you hear as if it's right next to your left ear. You hear, I would be. Did you hear that all right? Uh. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and again, some shivers, you know. Yeah, well, I was just trying to think how, how, uh, of, of, of a more reptilian, like uh, a, a more reptilian uh, response. <laughs> uh, you're, you're with your tail. There's, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, that really deep, like, like uh, alligator rumble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from, from from Mo's uh, from, from Mo's throat. And, huh. and, uh, <laughs> Yeah. And like you back up and switch your head back and forth. No, no, no just just my eyes turned. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard you sound that way. Who's doing the Velociraptor thing? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, see. Yeah. You all right, Mo? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, just ghost here messing with me. Uh, You're in communication. Of of course I am. Is you know the only like actual accredited uh, member of the clergy with us. Uh, it, it, of course it would fall on me. I... Are you sure you're fine, Mo? <laughs> you don't seem fine right now. Okay, guys, I'm doing a little bit of disjointed movement. Um... Don't, don't don't move me. Don't move me. Don't move me. Okay, I'm not going to move you. I'm not going to move you. I'm not going to move you. Oop. Oh, you were moving me. Okay. I uh. Chris and Peaches, do you want to move your own tokens, or do you still want me to do that? Uh, uh, you can go ahead and move me. I'm fine. Um, just keep. Yeah. Uh, now I'm kind of. I'm gonna be kind of half with the lady and half with uh Mo, where I can keep an eye on Mo. Uh, what I'm doing, so. just yeah. I, I, okay, I so we're kind of. I'm gonna we're, move right now. Huh? What's that, Chris? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to move. You're going to stand gonna right here. still where you're at. Okay. Yeah. And, and then... And tell, the, tell the lady we should we should stick with Mo because I think he saw her. Elrana... He well, Elrana kind of looks back uh, as, as she's moving along. And, uh, and she says, I believe we will meet Mo again in a moment. Uh, this castle now, opens now, into now, other now rooms. Now my head turns. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, the way that things are moving... Is it a sharp turn, or what is it? Uh, it's a couple of rooms. No, I was talking to Mo. What's that? Well, did, you, did you turn your head, like, sharply? Like, no, like, no, no, it was... It, what? It, 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 it was very, very slow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Mo, as you as you were turning your head, uh, you saw uh, Elrana and Kret kind of move behind a wall that is between you. You can probably see it from where I'm I'm uh, clicking right now. Okay, that's uh -huh. a big old wall right there. And I'm trying to determine what movement these other three want to do. Uh, you guys move where you're going to move, please. So that we can determine, you know, what each of you sees. I'm actually, I'm actually sitting still until I can see, I can, until one or two, one or the other one of them gets out of my sight, and then I'm probably going to follow Elrana. Okay. Or Lerana, whatever her name is. Elrana. Um, Elrana. So then, uh, Chris said that he's standing still. Dogfight said that he's floating still. Um, so that leaves you, Peaches. 
Oh, man, I know Mo can take care of himself. So I'll hurry to keep up with the lady. Okay, all right. Mo, your turn. Hmm. All right. Uh, I, I, address the, I address the ghost. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, so, who am I talking to? Um, okay. You don't hear an immediate answer, um, but you do feel cold kind of move into your area. The temperature immediately around you uh, and, and on top of you, of course, cools noticeably, but not painfully. All right. Is the warm blooded person to the cold blooded person? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Exactly. Exactly. That's all right. My my armor's insulated. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, are you going to continue to move forward, or are you standing still? Uh, well, if nothing responds to me that time. Um, Ah, ah, good God, what happened to the screen? All right, there we go. Uh, if, no, if nothing responds to me other than to just be cold, I'm just going to move one, two, five, six. I'm just going to move on down to here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. And go, well, come with me or go find the lady and see if you can't do what you're supposed to do. Uh, I'd like to see you put to rest. Uh, Lanala does not like spirits remaining on the plane. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. Give me a persuasion test. Well, I'm playing to my strengths. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have persuasion. Okay, so persuasion, of course, is based on charisma. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. What do you roll? You feel like yeah, what did he roll? You you feel like you're not <laughs> quite getting across. Um, it, it's a feeling yeah. that you have that would allow you, if you wanted to, to spend a possibility. Nah. Okay. Nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to at this point. You know, the ghost knows what the ghost is supposed to do. If it if it wants to like mess around, that's that, that's on the ghost. Okay. Uh, I do un. I do unclip the uh, uh, sun sword from my from my uh, belt, though, in okay. case the ghost starts getting persnippity. <laughs> <laughs> That's a phrase I haven't heard in a while. A persnickety ghost. A persnickety ghost. Persnickety oh. or persnip. It, either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, so. <clears throat> That's perfect. Chris. Yes. You're looking, you're kind of looking around trying to spot some things as Dogfight kind of moves uh, more towards Lady Alrana, where her position is. Um, and as you're looking around, uh, I need you to roll me a find test. Watch this one just be blown out of the water. Nope. Okay, not so much. Um, you get you get a sick feeling along your spine. Uh, it's almost as if, let's see, as an engineer, as an aerospace engineer, you were able to help sand down some parts that were necessary uh, to do, and there were a few times when you ran sandpaper in in testing or or in whatever uh, across say your thumb and it 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 gave you a chill down your spine uh even if even when it made your your thumb bleed and it just it 
your body said this is wrong this is not how it's supposed to work and right now you're 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 feeling something that gives you the very same uh uh feelings and you, like instinctively you grab the thumb that was injured uh yeah i start doing like the heavy jeevy kind of dance and just move out of the way <laughs> okay where are you going to huh. Like this way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't move that much. Um, yeah. What you he but you hear in your ear. <laughs> uh, in fact, um, all of you kind of hear that in your ear. Just a very lilty, soft, almost malicious giggle, an ethereal giggle. Don't laugh at my misery. <laughs> Okay, so Mo, you moved. Uh, if yes, it, 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 you're, you're saying we hear this like somebody's like whispering in our ear, right? Um, no, you hear it from all around you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It seems to be coming from everywhere. Whisper. Yes. Yes, it's a little louder than a whisper. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's see. So, Mo, give me another uh, fine test. Okay, 11. That's not bad. It's an 8. Um... Okay, you also feel more than any other type of perception a, a cold that moves back into your area around you. It's almost like something seems to be focusing on you. Uh, uh, the dead should stay dead. <laughs> <laughs> This is the ultimate dead thing a bit, according to Lenala. Yeah. yeah uh, that's right. Really Lenala doesn't like undead. Dead should be dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lenala definitely uh, does not like Gosbog. That's for certain. Uh, yeah. um, dead should be buried underneath like 40,000 feet in the ground. Yeah, well, you know, or cremated or eaten or... Well, yeah, the the li <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> the living life. land has a tendency to eat uh, everything that that dies. So and a lot of things that are living. It's just the circle of life there. Um, okay, so you know what? Let me go ahead and and uh, oh stop! I don't want you to open. Oh, for heaven's sake! Okay, there you go. I didn't want you to open. I double clicked on accident. Okay, so uh, Elrana and Kret move forward just a little bit more into the next room and do not uh, quite see Mo just yet, but you can hear uh, Mo, you can hear Elrana's boots. If you guys want to catch up, you can. That's no problem. Um, but Elrana stops in the doorway and she says, Skathic, are you here? That's her name. Mm hmm Skathic, I need your aid. And I you hear an ethereal I, voice. Oh, what's that? Go ahead. Cred cred look whispers into um who's the lady that I'm by, uh by again? You're by Elrana. uh Lady Elrana. I asked I asked Lady Elrana in her ear. I was like, who? Who is this person that you're trying to talk to? She says, I, I told you a few minutes ago, this is Skathic. She trained Kukulain. <laughs> who, oh. who originally owned this spear. Oh, okay. And, uh, gotcha. and, and, uh, you hear a, a little bit of a giggle 
an, another ethereal giggle. Uh, but it's it's again, it's not like a, a little girl's playful giggle. It's one of those types of giggles that will send uh, chills absolutely down your spine. Okay, it's uh, oh, yeah, it's it's one of those that comes from nowhere and it comes from everywhere all at the same time, and you can't pinpoint it. And you might, and I don't know how your individual characters would act, but you might end up moving your head around quite a bit to see if you can spot uh, uh, anything that's going on in that way. Um, so, um, Elrana, uh, as she's turning away from you, Kret, she says, now, let me get about my business. And she says, Skathic, I am a warrior of Dunad. I need your aid with this spear. I am cursed. And from out of out of the blue. And again, this is kind of all around you, though it seems more focused inside this room that that Mo is getting ready to enter and that Alrana is standing in the doorway of. Says, "It's no curse I laid upon the Gaia Bolga." But one Kukulain laid himself with his short-sighted actions. I cannot lift the curse. The spear-bearer must do so on her own by mastering the lessons I have. Yet I did not train Kukulain alone, so she must master these lessons with aid. And Elrana is like, How? How do I do this? And each of you each of you storm knights gets a feeling in your in your in each of your wrists in both of your wrists each of you get this feeling uh, of heat and the idea comes that you are the help that uh is being spoken of yeah kind of figured that I'm think I'm thinking of Chris thinking of himself so like what the heck just happened here? So like, no, I've never felt this feeling before. Like what, what the heck is going on? What? Looking at his wrist and then like what the <laughs> heck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you even 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 with the magic it? that you have, you've never felt this before, Robert. We call this in the Nile the plot complication. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wow. <laughs> we call this in core Earth, I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So. Uh, uh. He. Uh, the voice comes again and says, Are you and those with you ready to master my lessons? And Elrana Depends looks... what the lesson is. Elrana goes to look at each of you who are close by uh, to to see if you're ready. So, let's see. Mo? Mm -hmm. she, she looks at you and nods her head in, in kind of a question. Will you help me? I shrug as if to say, sure, why not? I'm already here. <laughs> she turns to Peaches next and does the same thing. Peaches nods at you. Okay. Uh, she turns to Kret as uh, Dogfight is flying over the top of her. I asked the person who um, who said all this first, mm -hmm. I was like, what lesson do we need? Are you talking about? They are lessons you must master as I describe them to you. Okay, then I'm in. Okay. Um, and then uh, Elrana looks up at, um, at Dogfight, uh, who of course has turned around the wrong way, and she says, Sir Dogfight, are you in? I'm here. Okay. And uh, uh, then she tries to spot Chris. Uh, she, yeah, she might be able to see him. 
Uh, and she says, Sir Chris, why are you all the way over there? Well, I haven't moved yet. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> As you go to approach, she she looks at you looking over the top of Kret, who is short, of course, and, and kind of nods her head in the same way. Will you aid me? Yeah, sure. As long as it's not deadly. Huh? I make no guarantees about that. And that ethereal, haunting laugh returns. Now, um, just as she completes the asking, a ghost quite literally pops up right in front of Elrana. Okay, now Elrana, actually, all of you need to make a fear check at this because it is a ghost. And I need to open. And what up. is that? Uh, fear uh, is willpower. Yeah, fear is going to be willpower. Uh, or I believe it's spirit, if you don't have willpower. Let's see. Finally a decent roll. Oh boy, that's a lot of dice. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, oh, let me wow, let me get really? back up here. So that was nine seconds ago. Wow. Okay, hold 22 second. seconds. Okay, can I can I scroll up now? <laughs> it, uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, that was, those are fines. Okay, Chris, Chris is good. Um, Peaches is good. Dogfight, not so much. Um, even if I were to give yeah. you a bonus for being at altitude, um, not so much. Hey, I already spent. He looked further down. I already spent the possibility. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm getting there. That, uh, that's what I was trying to, to knock out. I'm trying to read all of these at the same time. The cards are kind of a... Uh, they make things <laughs> difficult. Okay, so Elrana, oh. unfortunately... Now, who did that? Where's Beatings, Mo? Mo! Beatings! Okay, wh where was Hello. it? You already rolled, didn't you? No. Mind? no. Okay, willpower. Okay, so Mo, you definitely made it. But Elrana and Dogfight... Okay, um... Dogfight, you actually uh, either back into a wall, uh, the wall that's behind you, or you land on the ground. Um, what are you talking about? When I, when I spent the possibility, it went up to an 18. Yeah, an 18, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, you don't. I'm, I'm trying to do all of this, but the damn cards keep popping up. And it's... Uh, it's have you rolled for me? Uh, I have not yet, because I'm trying to take care of everybody. Alrana failed. Um... I know Elrond. Well, she can spend a possibility though, so I'm going to spend a possibility for her. That takes her down to one. And let me get back to Elrana. Come on, man. Hello. Okay, let me get back to Elrana and possibility. Okay, that's a lot better. She she manages to stand her ground even with a ghost screaming in her face. And then let me get Kret here. Willpower. He's got a pretty nice willpower too. Okay, 13. That'll oh, give yeah, you a 13. Okay, so yeah, you did a good job with that. So basically none of you are, are scared that this ghost pops up. And Skathic says, well... You are a hardy bunch, aren't you? And some of you may wonder why she speaks such clear English. Um, and she would probably be willing to tell you. But she says, come, we must, uh, we must retreat to the large turret in here so that we can begin the process. And she comes down here first. Uh, starts to move towards this doorway over here, and she looks back and says, none of you are following me. I'm of a mind that you don't actually want to remove this curse. And she slips into this other room. Let me grab Kret and Elrana. And I'm just going to kind of move them more or less into the center of the room. Okay. 
Cathic says, spread out, for you will need room for the maneuvers we are about to perform. And so, wow, I've got a bunch of lag. You're not kidding. Okay. What about the rest of you? How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. So, uh, Mo, are you actually going to come into the room, or are you still having a problem moving? Because it might not be lag. It might be the wall. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. At least you did on my screen. Yeah. Yeah, you moved. She looks at all of you, and she says, So, you are Storm Knights. That is good. And perhaps this training will further aid you in what you need to know and do. Now, I'm going to get out a picture of Skathic here. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I, I'll put it down real quick, and, and you guys can look, and then I'll remove... What in the heck? Okay. So, what you see... Come on. This is just the head of the ghost um, that you see. Uh, but you can see that she is uh, uh, was at one time a lovely woman. Okay. She appears. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Where is it? I just had the description for her. Um, She's a muscular, she was a muscular woman, very much a warrior. Um, think of Kira Knightley in, um, uh, in uh, King Arthur. Okay, the original, or not the original King Arthur, the one with Clive Owen in it. Um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, love that movie. Uh, it never did real well, but I love the movie. Anyway, uh that is who you are facing in uh, uh, she seems to be wearing a bunch of flowing robes and they seem to be uh, moving and shifting as if there's a lot of wind about okay your typical ghost appearance uh, everybody get a good look nobody yeah. got a good look I did yeah, ghost with the most All right. All right. the ghost okay okay <laughs> all right I'll say it after the uh, after the recording. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Uh, let's see. We are approaching are approaching nine twenty at night. Do we want to try and finish this next week? Hang on, hang on, because I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to like play it again. I want to no. play a card. You want to play a card? Oh lord! No, oh, no, here comes the no. romance card. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Uh, um, how do I how do I play it? Okay, so you've got four icons on your on your hand. Okay, at the right hand uh -huh. side, uh, one of them is show to all players. Yep, I got it. Okay. I um, but what you can do is hit play, which is the leftmost of those four icons. Okay, so romance card. Here we go. Play to encourage an amorous relationship between your character and a non-player character. Gain three possibilities. You may spend possibilities for this character, for the character that you are having the romance with. Alterna alternatively, discard for a possibility and draw a new card. Um, so you want to play this romance card. Let's see. The priest of Lanala wants to fall in love with a dead thing? <laughs> yeah, I was I was I actually kind of was, huh? Uh, I, I didn't say I was going to play it on the ghost. Oh, okay. be on the 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 lady, the cursed lady. Yep. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh are you are really you sure you want to do that? Oh, that'd be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't have. To, it doesn't mean that she has to reciprocate his feelings. 
She can struggle with them. Do you move next to her and start throwing winks and stuff? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a, uh, uh, it, it just, it just uh, puts us in a situation where it in, in, incurs the possibility of romance starting. And, you know, t- t- you know, two warriors are about to, like, do some training together. And, you know, they, they might notice one another. Okay, do you and want to move do, Mo then, closer? And if, it, and if they do, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, I can move closer. And if they do, with that curse in play, things could get interesting. Um, now you know the length of of that um, uh, spear she's got is at least three meters. Yeah, that's that's probably safe. Okay. <laughs> or or uh, two, uh, two two and a half meters. I mean, not three meters. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> she looks over in your direction and kind of squints a little bit. Um. Uh. But then turns back to Scathic to pay attention. And uh, uh, Scathic says, if you are ready, we shall begin. And uh, Elrana, Man ready. El- El- Elrana nods and, and Dogfight says he's always ready. And she kind of looks around at all of you to ensure whether you're going to uh, uh, be ready or not. Now. I'm going to assume Does since all. Do we have our weapons drawn or something like that? I'm sorry, what? Do we have our weapons drawn or something like uh, that? Uh, well, not yet, not yet. Um, the only one that's really got her weapon drawn, unless some of the rest of you did for whatever reason. Um, uh, and and peaches, you're facing the wrong way too. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, unless you had some reason to have a weapon out. Uh, uh, you don't, you don't have to at this point. Now, back to my question from a few minutes ago. Okay, click on your character, on your token, and then hold down the shift key and use your mouse wheel. There you go. Okay, and that kind of puts you in, in, uh, more or less correct direction. Um... So, uh, do we want to kind of cut it for the night since it's 9.30? Well, 9.30 my time, 10.30 your time. Hmm? Yes, please. I've got to get up in just a few very hours. Okay, then we will pick this up. We will we will pick this up uh, next Sunday. Same bat time, same bat channel. No laundry being done. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Can't, can't promise none of that, but... Uh, you know, Get it done during the week. <laughs> All right. Guys, yeah. thank you for being here. Miss it. No problem. Okay. Had a blast. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Andrew, we need to talk. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, I will I will talk to the rest of you guys later and uh, I hope you have an excellent week, okay? You too, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Peace out, guys. Bye.